Moving on to the ASAPS system, or the American Society of Anesthesiologists Physical Status. It's your swift classification system. So, imagine class 1 is a person out on a sunny day, not a cloud in sight. This individual is the picture of health. It's like they have an invisible umbrella shielding them from any health issues. The chances of getting wet, or wet means a health problem or comorbidity, are incredibly low. Now, class 2 is like a person walking with a bigger, trusty umbrella. They've got a mild systemic disease, but it's not limiting their activity. This umbrella, representing their health status, provides better protection from most of the rain. They might get a little wet, but it's just a drizzle compared to the downpour. Moving on to class 3, we have someone with a cap, a partial shield. They've got a severe systemic disease that limits their activity. The cap represents their protection, but it's not as extensive as the umbrella. While they might get a bit wet, it mostly covers their head, making mortality less likely. But, yes, morbidity can happen. Class 4 is a challenging one. Imagine a drowning person. They're in a difficult situation due to incapacitating disease. They desperately need a lifeboat in the form of excellent healthcare services from an efficient team. Here, the chances of both morbidity and mortality are very high. And class 5 is like being caught in a severe storm. You're unlikely to survive, whether you get help or not. It's a dire situation, and the chances of making it through are minuscule. And class 6 is unique. It's like a person who's brain dead but can be a hero. In this case, their healthy organs can be donated to save others. It's a selfless act, providing a lifeline to those in need. Don't forget that in emergencies, we add an E to any class. It's like sounding the alarm during a sudden downpour, an emergency operation is needed.